Thanks for taking the time to view this quick tutorial on the Martel Beta DPC-300A. The DPC-300A is a dual system pneumatic calibrator that is ideal for the testing and calibration of valve actuators, PI transmitters, controllers, pressure gauges, switches, and recorders normally found on a process control loop. By dual system, we mean the calibrator can be used with shop air up to 100 psi or the internal pump which handles up to 300 psi. The DPC-300A is powered by a 16-volt nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery, which provides over 50 hours of continuous use measure mode. It weighs about 15 pounds and is packaged in a rugged IP67 case that is 15 inches by 7 inches. Pressure measurement minus 12 to 300 psi is rated at 0.035% of full scale. Milliamp DC 0 to 24 milliamps is 0.015% of reading. Volts DC 0 to 30 volts is also 0.015% of reading. The DPC 300A can power up a 24 volt loop and read milliamps back. It has selectable engineering units and several features that make calibration a snap. Let's take a closer look and perform a quick pressure switch test. I have a 125 psi pressure switch that is teed in to a 200 psi mechanical gauge so you can get a better feel of how things work. I'm going to use the DPC-300A to generate the pressure and capture the switch, open, close, and deadband. I am now using the variator to dial in the switch point around 85 psig. Let's bleed the pressure and take a closer look at the results. The display can be set up to handle various tests, including selectable engineering units. By rotating the needle valve, I can easily set up for shop air, internal pump, or simply just measure pressure. The internal pump can be switched to handle pressure or vacuum. Directly above are the fine controls for bleed and controlling fine pressure. As they say on TV, but wait, there's more. Do you need to expand up to 10,000 psi for pressure measurement? Just grab a beta port P pressure module and insert your range of choice. The DPC-300A, a calibration powerhouse and a portable format. Thanks again for tuning in to this short tutorial on the DPC-300A.